Okay, hello friends, this is Zubia again. Today we are making eggplants. So many people avoid eggplants because they don't know what to do with it. You can find eggplants in many cuisines around the world. So you can find in either in Chinese, Filipino, Indian, Italian, and Greek as well. Eggplant has a mild flavor, so you can use it for many side dishes and food items. Uh, they are a good source of vitamins, minerals, and fibers, so actually good for heart health. So you can use eggplants in many ways. You can boil them, roast it, stir fry, and you can even use it as a stew in many curries. Today we are making smoky eggplant chips and Thai eggplant stir fry. After preheating the oven to 350 degrees, slice the eggplant thinly with a sharp knife or mandolin. Then transfer to a colander, sprinkle with salt, and set aside for 15 minutes to help draw out the water. After 15 minutes, rinse off the salt and squeeze out the excess water. It would also help to pat the eggplant dry with a clean dishcloth or paper towel. Layer the slices evenly on a lined baking tray and brush with oil. Then season with spices and bake until the edges are crispy. This can take up to 20 minutes. It's also important to know that even though the chips will continue to crisp as they cool, that if they are too soft after 10 minutes of cooling, you can put them back in the oven to crisp some more. While we wait for them to bake, we'll move on to preparing the stir fry. Slice the eggplant into bite-sized pieces. Then soak in a bowl of water along with one teaspoon of salt. Incorporate and allow the eggplant to sit for 15 minutes. You can also anchor it down with a pot lid or bowl. Then drain and pat dry. At this point, you're going to sprinkle the eggplant with cornstarch and incorporate until evenly coated. Add about a tablespoon or two of a heart healthy oil to a pan. And for additional flavor, a little bit of sesame or peanut oil. Once hot, add the eggplant and stir fry until browned and soft. This can take up to 10 minutes. In the meantime, mince garlic and ginger. Now we can saute the aromatics. You may transfer the eggplant to a bowl and set aside and use the same pan, or you can saute the garlic and ginger in a new pan. Start with a small mixture of the two oils, add garlic and ginger and saute until fragrant. Add back the eggplant to the pan, mix and reduce the heat to slowly cook. During this time, mix the soy sauce, the sugar alternative, and cornstarch in a bowl. Now you may also add them to the pan. Mix to incorporate until the sauce starts to thicken and then transfer to a bowl and add freshly chopped Thai basil and cilantro. This dish is perfect as the main part of your meal along with a small portion of protein and a high fiber carb. And the chips make a great snack when served with hummus, guacamole, pico de gallo, or chimichurri.